Hello, Bill here, Pale Horse Survival and Tactical. I wanted to, uh, I was busy splitting some uh, tree roots earlier, and uh, I thought I'd make a, a video on how to do that. So, this is a, uh, a fruitless mulberry root that I harvested earlier, and uh, to split them, just take your knife, start a slit right down the middle, and the trick is you want to keep the split going down the middle. If it wanders off too side, too far, rather to one side or the other, it's going to create a a weak spot. So you just take your time. Now, if it does go off to say one side, say it's getting uh, thinner on the left side. If it splits wandering to the left, pull harder on the right. Bend the right down further and it'll automatically, we'll see how it already pulled it over, it'll pull it over to that side that it needs to go. See now we're getting over here to the right side so we're gonna pull it this way. And you just take your time we get down to the bottom here we'll quarter one of these halves so you can further reduce it down and roots roots make excellent cordage and the nice thing about it is you can use roots you can use roots from just about any tree and the nice thing about it is they're readily available and they don't require really any processing you don't have to reverse wrap them or process fibers or anything, so it's a pretty field expedient way to acquire cordage without a whole lot of work. And these are uh, surface roots. You take a digging stick and kind of scrape it across the ground. Underneath the tree start a few feet out from the trunk and uh, you'll run into the, the surface roots. So you just keep it tracking right down the middle. tree roots you can process them uh, roll them up store them away until you need them uh, before you use them soak them in water they'll uh, they'll soften back up and become pliable so you want to pull this one pull this one to the left now there we go see it right back in the middle there there we go he's wandering off to the right so this one here, you hit these nodes, and these nodes can be a little tricky. <clears throat> that one's a little tough getting through there. There we go. Now we have two pieces. Take the knife. Start a slit. Right up here in the top. Make 
just like that. And now we're going to quarter these. Same process. You can use this cordage to bind things. Use it for bow drill cordage, which I have used it for that purpose. And uh, it actually works pretty well. I wouldn't use a whole root uh, for bow drill cordage. I've tried that and uh, they tend to self-destruct. They don't last long at all. What I do, I split it into, I'll split two pieces and uh, I'll use a two-hand two-hand wrap on the, uh, the root and uh, they work a lot better that way. See now we're coming up on a node here and these get a little tricky so I'm just going to go ahead and cut right past that one. So we're not stressing this out so now we're continuing on now. These nodes can be get a little weird. And this is pretty thick stuff here. You'll probably go and even uh, process this down even further. There we go, that's quartered. These are pretty uh pretty sturdy uh this would be a pretty sturdy rope right here. And that's all there is to it. And if you need thinner uh you need thinner piece of cordage, split this and uh and split this down the middle and uh uh to produce uh, thinner uh, thinner cordage, and they're amazingly tough. And that's all there is to it. Please like, subscribe, and share, and uh, definitely appreciate your support and viewership. I'll see you guys soon on the next one. Take care. Bye bye. Hey guys, I'm back. I'm just uh, started working on this this quarter, and I'm breaking it down to an eighth. So I thought I'd have you guys join me on this. I just put a little slit in the top and uh, just working it down here. It's coming right apart. See, it pulled it over to the right coming it was uh, veering off to the left a little too far I was afraid it was going to get thin now this one needs to come over Just bend it over to the left pulls it right over to the center pretty easy to do it's actually not difficult at all See, we're a little bit further to the right, so I want to bring it over just a little bit to the left here. And there we go, we're back in the center.
little bit over to the right. There we go. Yeah, and I think I'm in a node right here. If you hit a node, sometimes it'll stop you. So I just take my... And there we go. And that's an eighth of an inch thick. And that's all there is to it. guys take care see you soon bye bye hey guys there's one other thing uh, I wanted to include uh, in this instruction if you uh, remove the bark on the, uh, the roots and whatever roots you're working on if you want more flexibility uh, all you have to do is remove the bark and the easy way to do that is uh, cut yourself a a stick about that big around well it depends on the size of your, your roots too uh, for this size root here which is a an eighth of the, the half of the quarter that we uh, we just split um, I would choose a, a stick about probably about that big around and I would I would split the top of it down oh I don't know maybe about that far so you have a kind of a Y in the top, you stick your root inside there, all the way down the bottom and strip the root through. Turn it a little bit, strip the root through, and what that'll do is it'll it'll remove the bark for you. It's called a strip stripper stick. Um, you can use a thinner one, and uh, which would almost be like a kind of like a pair of tongs, uh, a green branch, and uh, when you open it up and stick the root in you just have to kind of squeeze the branch down on either side and then strip the root through so but just run it through turn it a little bit and you know look at the sides that still have some bark on it and uh, like in this instance we only have a strip of bark on one side so uh, I would stick it down in there so this side would be contacting the wood in other words not at the bottom there's nothing there that's gonna remove that bark stick it in like this so it's contacting if you have a stick you can squeeze on there a Y stick squeeze it and then strip it through and it comes right off the stuff removes very very easy but with a stripper stick it's uh, it it makes the job uh, very fast and uh, very painless so it comes right off and that increases the flexibility of the uh, of the uh, root cordage so anyways just wanted to throw that in there Take care, guys. Bye-bye.